So you're a beginner that has been looking to build a new website, right? You're probably tired of people who seem to overcomplicate things talking about complex stuff that you won't even need at all. I'll tell you what. I am gonna tell you right now what the best web hosting services are for beginners for 2019. But not the hype companies that everybody seems to be talking about. In fact, you might haven't even heard about my number one choice yet. And don't worry, I will mention the features that you as a beginner actually need, not what a developer needs. So relax and enjoy the video. Hey, what is going on guys? This is Nicolas Salgado from AllMySoftware.com, the best place for entrepreneurs and business owners. In this video, we will see my top 3 best web hosting services and their best prices and offers out there. The features we will be discussing are pricing, speed, customer service, ease of use, and how optimized they are to have WordPress running, which for those of you that don't know, is the world's most famous tool to edit and customize your website. I will also talk about three really good web hosting companies. Sideground, Hostinger and Dreamhost, but I won't reveal their positions until the end of the video. With that being said, let's start talking about speed. About 40% of people abandon a website if it takes more than 3 seconds to load. That's how crucial speed and performance are. In this section, I actually decided to build brand new websites with each of the companies I mentioned. I used the same themes, plugins, blog articles and images for each of the websites to test them at equal conditions. I used a tool called Pingdom to test them. Even though Dreamhost and Hostinger are tied on the performance grade, I ranked Dreamhost on the third place just because it took longer to load the website. On the second place, we have of course Hostinger, and on the first place we have SiteGround, as one of the fastest web hosting services I have ever tested. These same websites were graded an A on other tests, but I decided to use Pingdom because of its high standards. Our second category is customer service. I think this is the most underrated feature when someone is gonna buy any product. You, as a beginner, should have a reliable team that can actually help you. I had a horrible experience with my first web host, Bluehost, because their customer service is just terrible. They weren't able to help me any of the multiple times that I contact them, and that can get frustrating and time consuming. On the third place for this category, we have to rank Dreamhost. Its customer service is just good. They were able to help me, but they have longer wait times than the other two services. Next, we have Hostinger. Their customer service was really good and their chatbot helped me a lot to answer questions. The only negative thing about it is that they don't have phone support, which for some can be upsetting. Once again, on the first place we have SiteGround. Their customer service was fast and really useful. They could even help me sometimes with WordPress related issues I had. We're jumping into the third category which is ease of use. I don't know about you but as a beginner I appreciated a clear dashboard and interface. As my third choice we have Dreamhost again. It is maybe the interface with the biggest learning curve because it has so many words and things around that it is actually harder to find what you're looking for. In my experience, this also affected wait time for customer service because a lot of people can't find what they're looking for within the interface. SiteGround is my second choice in this case. Their interface is easy to use, but I think it feels outdated. I really don't know why such a big company as them haven't updated their dashboard yet. On the top of the list for this category, we have Hostinger. It is easy, clear and smooth to use. It also feels really modern, which is amazing. It was definitely the easiest to use because it has simple menus with fewer categories. We're getting close to know what my number one choice is. If you would like to get special discounts for any of these web hosting providers, please stay until the end of the video. My fourth category is WordPress optimization. 
this one was hard. From my experience with these companies, I would have chosen Hostinger for the second position, but since it is not included in the official recommended WordPress companies, I will have them on the third position. I must say though, that since I acquired your service, WordPress installation was even easier than some of the companies in that list. Even though I didn't like their WordPress installation, I will have DreamHost as second in this category. They are not as clear as other companies when installing WordPress. I actually didn't know if I had already installed WordPress or not when I registered for my new website, but they are WordPress recommended. That says a lot about their WordPress performance. SiteGround appears as the first place. They are really good, the best, in my opinion. Their installation was probably the best out of all I have ever tried before. Neat and simple. Not to mention their top performance running WordPress. They even get rid of useless plugins inside WordPress. Definitely the best in this category. Finally, I am gonna talk about pricing in my last category. If you would like to get the discounts I am gonna talk about, make sure to go to the, the link in the description below. Pricing is gonna be a major factor when choosing my top web hosting on my list. I will first mention each of the features of each company. When you're getting any web hosting, make sure to add an SSL certificate to your card because this protects private information such as credit cards, addresses or passwords. So it is really important. DreamHost offers a free SSL certificate. Hostinger charges $11.95 for lifetime. While SiteGround also offers a free SSL certificate. You also have to take into consideration how much the companies charge for domains. This is basically the name of your website such as allmysoftware.com. The domain inside DreamHost costs $8.99 per year, Hostinger also charges $8.99 per year and the domain's price inside SiteGround is $15.95 per year. Those are the essential things you will need for your website, the rest are add-ons. Many companies charge one year of web hosting in advance. Not many reviewers actually tell beginners that DreamHost offers a monthly plan, which is mind-blowing. Hostinger gives you the option to pay a minimum of three months, and SiteGround's minimum is a year of web hosting. Now onto the actual pricing. DreamHost charges $4.95 per month, but if you pay for 3 years, you just end up paying $2.59 per month. Adding the domain and SSL certificate cost, the total price for 3 years will be just $102.23. Hostinger's price is not as cheap, but it is actually better on the long run. They charge $7.99 per month, but with my special discount, you can get as low as $1.45 per month for 3 years. With this offer, you would end up paying $90.72 for 3 years. There is nothing as affordable as that. Finally, the most expensive hosting is SiteGround. They charge $11.95 per month, but if you get my offer inside my description down below, you will get charged $3.95 per month for a year. The total cost for 3 years will be $158.15. Since we've talked about all of the features, it is time to recognize the best web hosting for 2019. DreamHost is on the third place on the list. Their monthly plan is just an amazing opportunity for beginners to be able to start building a website with no excuses. DreamHost is a really good company, but it was compared to two of the best web hosting services right now. On the second place, we actually have SiteGround. You might be questioning me why I decided to have SiteGround as the second place when it excelled in most of the categories. Well, I told you that pricing was gonna play a major factor. If this list wasn't targeted to beginners, SiteGround would've won the competition. I don't think the price is too crazy. At the end of the day, you will have a business running for less than 200 bucks for three years. But I know many beginners don't have the cash ready to start today and can't afford to pay a minimum of a year. You should also think about other stuff such as logos designs, 
ads and all kinds of stuff when starting out a business. If money is not an issue though, you should go with the most complete company out there, which is SiteGround. This means that Hostinger is on the top of the list. Hostinger has surprised me with how easy they are to use, how updated their servers are and how fast my website could become. They also offer a way of paying a minimum of 3 months which is great. For people who are looking to make a blog for fun, are looking to create their first website, would like to start a small business or someone who wants an affordable but reliable service, Hostinger should be your number one choice. It is definitely the best offer you can get without having to sacrifice things like performance or speed. Other companies that are this affordable are not so great in terms of features. If you made it to the end of the video, I hope you found it useful. Please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot and helps me to continue doing content like this one. Thank you for watching.